Welcome back to This Family Adventures. I'm Lauren. I'm Gwen. And today we have a Disney Parks haul to mainly Epcot. Yeah. A few other things. We have some basin we want to get into and show you. We're super excited about that. Um, so I guess we'll start off with the best thing ever. Not really, but for the week. Surprise the release of that. Yes. So we have the new 50th Skyliner popcorn bucket. We all know how much we love popcorn buckets around here. So it was fun getting these. It wasn't actually bad at all. It wasn't as bad as Figment. No. Nowhere is near as bad. And not even I mean they sold out on certain occasions, but But I think the stock is getting better. Oh definitely. You can tell that in the world of Disney. Yeah. Um, cause I'm pointing at the balloon popcorn bucket, cause that was difficult to get, I would say. Mm -hmm. Um, this not so much, but I'm glad. Well, it was only available in two parks. This, but yes. anyway, that's why it's kind of been pigments only was that, obviously, Epcot. Those were only available, though. Magic well, Kingdom. Magic Kingdom. The, yeah. So. And then the 50th Mickey popcorn bucket that everyone seems to want right now. Is not available? Yeah, but that's available at all four parks. Even at Disney Springs, too, mm -hmm. isn't it? Yeah, at one point, yeah. So, we got that. Super happy. I love Chip and Dale on here, but it's so tiny. And we actually haven't ridden this Skyliner. Every time, I feel like every time we get on the Skyliner anymore, it's well, an unwrapped one. Um, hopefully though, if they restock, it will be a big shipment because of everything's here, coming. I don't know how I feel about it. I don't really care for the yellow. And then the next thing we got are, uh, Disneyland Paris ears with Tinkerbell. Yes. And these so, were available in, um, France. Pavilion and Epcot. Which was a nice surprise that we were able to get that here. Yeah, they've released a couple of doonies, a silk scarf, a notebook, they do a baseball say, yeah. hat. Disneyland but pants. my thing is, and I have a pair of Disneyland Paris ears, and they look identical. Really? Yeah, do you want to compare them? They're on the top, and you'll see that the side says Paris. Can you, like, lift up and then pull? <laughs> They're going to ruin the seat when so many years. Meanwhile, mine were just like. Yeah, you're right, sir. Exactly the same. The, the material is slightly different. So, these I got from Karen's USA Adventure. Um, it says Disneyland Paris is magical. And then it has like bigger stars, where this is more like pixie dust stars. But yeah, so you have your, the gold's a bit different too. I mean, I guess these are nice because of the Tinkerbell. Yeah, but. Well, I wonder what Tinkerbell, what was the reasoning for her being on all the I feel like she's the mascot for Paris. Paris? Oh, I... I'm pretty sure. She's in a lot of their merch. So they're hers. I'll keep mine. Do I have to put these back on the bottom? Yeah. No, just on that shelf though, please. I have my ears categorized by like celebration, glittery, solid colors, movie ears. I have collection video coming soon. <laughs> <laughs> I started to do that, but then it kind of got. No, not happening anymore. <laughs> well, it's because here. you got to put the ears back after you wear them. I did, but I just wasn't putting them back in the same slot. Um, and I still have ears that are in that bag from when we were on our little staycation. So we picked up some tea at Disney uh, Springs, but they have this elsewhere too. Like yeah, they top. have it everywhere. This came out actually, if, I would say, the beginning of the year. It was an Alice collection. I just love this packaging because you twist it and it's a different character. But really, if you take the cap off, it's just all the characters on it. 
So the packaging, A+. Plus. And then inside you get your tea bags, which we bought them. There are. Oh, I'm going to put my nail on this thing. I have a little. So this one is just black, um, what is it, black Earl? What's the name of it? Earl Black Tea, Earl Grey. Yeah. So cre this one's Creamy Earl Grey Black Tea. Luxury black tea with deep notes of bergamot and creamy vanilla bean flavor. Hurry up before it disappears from your cup. And then this one. Oh, look at the inside of the lid. Uh, yeah, well, I don't have the little switchy thing like that. So this one is the Queen's Garden Blend. So now got? I want to get all of them because who do you think is on the inside? Because that's the Queen's Garden Blend. And look who's in the it's King. the King of Hearts. Oh my gosh. A plus for pack. Okay, so this is strawberry infusion, light to medium flavor strength. Cascading notes of fresh, juicy strawberries with hints of maple. Oh, I wish I read that. Bits, I'm a big maple fan. Um, bits of fruit and colorful flower petals. Hurry up before it disappears from your cup. But the first ingredient in it is apple. The what? The first ingredient. You know how like the, oh. the, the for, usually yeah. the first ingredient is the main ingredient. Now are these tea bags or are they loose tea? Uh, they're tea bags. They're pyramid. Mine are pyramid bags. And I got twenty four in my big cup. And I did you say 12. how much they were? I got twelve and mine were free. <laughs> they were free. I think this they were twelve seven ninety nine. And then this one was twelve ninety nine. And we never keep the receipt from the bag. I did, but I gave it to Dad. But I'm pretty sure these were twelve ninety nine, and your little one was seven ninety nine. I don't want to open them, but I do. I'm I want to try it. Try it in what? Oh, these smell. Mmm. 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 I don't know. Yeah. I really smell mapley. <laughs> Maybe not. <laughs> well, let's do. We need okay. some hot water. Maybe we have a snack crate to do, so maybe we'll yeah, taste test it during our snack crate. So what is this supposed to be? They're good until March 2026, though, so you have plenty of time <laughs> to use them. Um, it almost looks like potpourri. That one is supposed to be strawberry infusion. So I was like, it does taste with maple, and that's all I smell. When when you smell it like this, it's a little bit better than yeah. taking a whiff of the bag. Well, then yeah, give me the one. I one. agree with that. Mm -hmm. Taking a whiff of the bag, you're like, whoa, what the? But I can't get this back in. We will see. So keep an eye out for our next snack crate video. But it, the containers are are cute. Yeah, like packaging. Yeah. You just told me. So we'll taste the tea. Um, like I said, I'm curious. Curious and curious, sir. And if you um, okay. if you are the type of person that holds on to cute packaging, that could serve many things. Yeah. You can keep crayons in there. Also, if pens, you know you like this, we can pick it up for you. Yeah, and they also have like tea, uh, honey they have spoons. Yeah. They have other flavors. Yeah, they really yeah. stepped up their tea game. I mean, they well, got they've tea been out all for over. a while, but. Like in Epcot, when we were checking out that one day, that whole one area right before checkout was nothing but teas. Yeah. I can't get that with it. I want to say there's at least 10 or more different flavors. And then, of course, they have like the cute tea sets. I said, oh, we got tea time. Well, I like that one in um, Wonderground Gallery. Yeah. The Jared Small mm -hmm. Rogue one. Okay, next thing that I have, they finally, finally, finally came out with the Pirate's Key. Um, it didn't come out with the main collection. We're still waiting for the Space Mountain plush. No. I'm no. tempted to take All the you can see is me, and you don't want to see that. <laughs> because Space Mountain looks way better without the I mean, it has the plastic on it, but no. But that one you can tell the plastic's on. Yeah. Yeah, and they didn't do a very good job. Like this is like a 
almost a perfect shrink wrap where a lot of the ones, if you're planning on keeping it in the plastic, wasn't going to look I like. was very particular. You should have seen me there looking through all of them. I had to make sure there was no paint marks on the skull, that all the paint lines were correct, nothing overlapped. So if you purchased one for us, I took the time to look at it. Although there's a piece of hair in mine. Like inside of it. Do you think that's from us? How could it get inside? It's in there. She's always saying, Oh, that's a hair. Oh, yeah. <laughs> She's always saying, there's a piece of... Oh, I don't yeah. know, unless it's a scratch. But it really does look like hair. I'm about to open it, because I'm keeping the keys. And then maybe we... No, that's a hair. I'm going to open this one, too. Because I'm keeping these. This hurts me a little bit. I think I don't want to secure the package. Nice tear strip. Always a fave. Oh, this one doesn't have a tear strip. So this is the first one. This kind of got sidetracked video. We haven't opened it on our channel. It doesn't smell. <laughs> oh, it's secure. It ain't moving. Like, how are you supposed to? I'm not supposed to. For real, they don't want you to. It's in there. Like, that's what you're getting because I'm not taking it out of that packaging. This one doesn't have a tear strip, which maybe it's not the same type of material. Oh, uh, yeah, they got, they got a, a tie wrap on that. They didn't want them falling out and, and breaking. I mean, you could cut that if you want to take it out. No, we can it down. So who can we cologne? Oh. What? I thought you said cologne. I know. Who can we cologne? I was like, what? Is that like a new thing on TikTok? Somebody's hair. Do we report it to Disney? Is he still in there? Now you got it. They weren't it. wearing their hair in it. <laughs> uh, it is definitely a hair. This one's super cool. I love it. But I kind of want to see what the box has. Is it held in place? Yeah. I just love these keys so much. I used to be a key collector when they first came out. But then... Maybe not when they first. Because I never had like the first couple keys. Because then it was like a D23 thing. Um... But then they got overpopulated. There was so many of them. But these, I like the size. Yeah, they haven't like come out with a key detail. in a while, have they? Um, I think Encanto in, um, in in was the last one. Encanto. Yeah. Why can't I say I haven't said it in such we a long time. Why didn't we get that? We do. We, we do have it. We do have it. I don't remember getting it. It's somewhere. We have it, though. Probably in that box of stuff that needs to be put away. It's not on the shelf. Yeah, so like you can see the skeleton's hands on the on the wheel. Lauren was like, make sure they're not bleeding over. Gotta make sure the paint's right and there's no scuffs in the skull. Everything was poor Richie every time he picked one up, five would fall over. Yeah, because they just You know it has um do these light up? No. Because look at the tip. Oh yeah, that's pretty cool. No, they don't light up though. Why would you have a... You know it would be super cool if these were like interactive on the ride. Yeah. Like not in the ride, but like some way... Well, that's what the uh, new you know, project thing is going to be. Because the like reason the why it's um like that at the end, because that's a telescope. Oh. And now, this is what I'm talking about. Like you can see, uh, it's almost like a you put this little on backward thing at the there. end. But that's because that piece right there is a telescope. Yeah, Take away the rope, and it's a telescope. This one's not like 
I'm trying to like see if I could get without like ruining the packaging. And they got the legit knots too. Like I wish this part would come out, but I don't want to, I don't know. I don't want to buy another one to take it out to keep one in the box. We're not like that in the I think they'll just stay in the box. But yeah, I really like this. I haven't decided if I'm keeping <coughs> the plush yet. I don't know. But the last thing that I picked up, if you saw another video way back when, I had bought the Tiana Precious Moments doll, but I wasn't happy with it after a while because it was a display. I didn't like her hair. Blah, blah, blah. So, I got this one in exchange for it because my thought process is, um, they need like quality control on this stuff, people. Come on, get it together. Um, I don't have this. This is Meg, um, from Hercules. I don't have her as a 17 inch doll because they didn't make one. So I got her as a Precious Moments doll. But now I feel like I kind of want Hercules to go with her. But we'll see. Down the rabbit hole we go. <laughs> <laughs> she just lives in the rabbit hole. <laughs> so yeah. She's smaller than the other ones. Yeah. Why? Cause she's a specialty, they said. Cause she's still seventy dollars. <laughs> I gotta figure out what her hair is supposed to look like. But this is her. This is gonna bother me. It's like showing where it's sewed. They did have Tiana in her green dress, which I should have got her. She went there saying she was going to get something and that was not what you were going to get. What was I going to get? I don't remember. I don't need it. That's what I was saying. Was it? Oh, they didn't have Dumbo. Yeah, Dumbo was my initial one and then I ended up with Belle. Oh, this is going to bother me. So we return in another one. No. Is there something really wrong with her? I just want... It shows the seam here in the front. Like, I wish... Like how the back looks nice on her dress. I just wish the front did that too. But it keeps like unrolling. I don't know. I'll have to figure something out with her. But I really like her. I'm happy with this one. And um, she has gold shoes. Which I guess I could take and get it signed if we're there on the weekend. But... Yeah, so she'll just, I don't know where she'll go. I don't have a Hercules shelf. I guess she's the same size. Why should, maybe it's her looks... dress. Can you see that in the camera? Yep. I probably see all this too. But, <laughs> um. And she's the same size. Yeah, it's weird. She looks so much smaller, but I think it's because her dress is. But they told you to call her hair. That's all. Well, she was a premium. She was a premium doll. That's what they said. Okay, moving on to base. Because I'm excited about this. We picked up a few of these. They're five ninety nine each. Because we needed them. <laughs> For our soap. <laughs> yeah. So we got three of them. And then we got this fancy soap. Mm. Oh, not that one. This one. So what it is is just I guess is that to keep the soap in a better condition? It's a soap okay. rest. Yeah, I know without, but the how it's cut. Without looking at this smell that. Okay, what do you name. think it is? Smells like lemonade. <laughs> <laughs> what is it? Oh, citronella? <laughs> yeah. To keep the mosquitoes away. 
so is a mosquito repellent soap. You hate the smell. I know, that's what I said. But she wants to keep it by the bathroom. bathroom. And I figure we just put, like maybe wash our hands and maybe I'll keep them away. And then the next we got was, um, what is it called? What does it say? No. It's, like, it's just pineapple. I guess right? it doesn't have a name. I'm sure it has a name. Pineapple something. Was it pineapple? I don't know. Coconut. And then we got this turtle one. That was coconut. How does it, I guess it's being in the bag. This smells so good. This doesn't really smell like it did. Because this is supposed to be coconut. Well, they were all I sitting think. together. So, they. Find them. She mm. bought you a soap. Oh, this is for me? Well, sea turtles? That's coconut lime, so I like it too. <laughs> With your little worms. But now, in there. okay, see, the problem I have with basin soaps, I'm sorry to bring it down, but once you get the soap to the point where these things, they don't wear even enough, you know what I mean? And then the bar breaks apart. It's all the same. What are you talking about? No, these are inserts. The turtles are inserts in the soap. I mean, they're soap, but they're usually, never mind. But it's all made together on the same thing. I know, but mom, I remember using one bar one time and as soon as it got to a certain point, it kind of just uh, all broke apart because of all well, the different Well, that doesn't pieces. make sense because they sell samples. Like you can buy a sample pack where they cut a soap into fours and then you get four samples in one uh, little pack. Uh, so like why would they do that if it breaks yeah. apart? I mean, you get you get some use out of it, but I don't know. The most exciting thing is we got these. So you get twenty five dollars worth of product and a bag for fifteen bucks. So they are mystery bags, it says right on there. $25 worth of products for $15. I can tell there's a soap and a bath bomb. This is the first time that we've seen these. Though. So yeah. it's like a mystery bag? Yeah, yeah that's what it's called. Oh, oh it's, like, it's like, like a mystery bag. <laughs> yeah. I don't care what's in it, it's a mystery bag. Exactly, and that's how we bought it. So, we're going to open up. I don't think they lasted too long because that one lady bought them at the next part of the store. I yeah. think she bought one or two. They she only have like six. Time. Oh my gosh. How this much were they? This is so cool. $15. Okay. This looks well, good. I know. Well, considering that oh my one gosh. bar of soap is so almost six this, bucks. Which I love the colors, but I know this is a mix of like the different ones. <laughs> this is my bag. I don't even take them out. And then, so this is what? It's twenty. It's thirty bucks for six. So do the math on that. Thirty bucks for six. Mm -hmm. so, so it's five dollars each. each. I think it's five ninety nine for one. One. Yeah. Although it's not filled to the top. <laughs> then I have two. We always look at them. Yeah. You've never gotten them, right? The safety seal's broken, but it's never been used, so I'm gonna be okay with it. Maybe it's broken because that's why it's in the mystery yeah. box. So we have Tangy Lemon Donald and we have True Vanilla Pluto, which I think I did buy this, but I think um, they're $2.99 a piece. So that's... So you're talking six. That's $11. Yeah. That's then we have a bar of soap, which doesn't have the price on it. This yeah, is very if fruity. It's anything like that. It is a little like smushed in on the side here, so I can see that being like... Why but you're still talking five dollars. Yeah, probably six. Yeah, it's very hard to find a five dollar bar, bar, and it's quite thick. So go with like six bucks just to be Wait, cheap. So you're off at so seventeen dollars, and then we have a bath bomb which is five ninety nine. Depending, some of them are eight ninety nine. Some I don't know the scent of this, but it's very colorful. Maybe this is what the soap I'm selling. But then if that's not twenty five dollars. What so, it would be 17 and if that was six dollars then that would be 23. so if it was eight it would be 25. yeah 
So this is a star, star blazer, I'm assuming. It has like some gold dust on it, with planets. And so. So yeah, super cool. All right, that's it for mine. I think it's worth it, definitely. Fifteen dollars. I'm just gonna stick my hand in it. Okay, that was fun though, looking and seeing. I got, I got a little bath bomb. So what are they, like four ninety nine? Yeah, thanks. Right? Yeah. It depends if it has the stuff in it. No, it's the stuff. Mm. Smell good. I think it's too perfumey for me. Yeah. Oh, yeah, Ooh! It's like that made me like want to sneeze. Oh, that's kind of yeah. I also thought you use that. Yeah, she'll get this too. Yeah, that smells um, good. <laughs> And then I got green soap. <laughs> <laughs> I gave you the wrong this, yeah. the wrong one. But this, this will just come. It sounds this like a jelly dancer. This is your like you mint soap. Some? Yeah. My mint soap. Yeah, you're my eucalyptus. eucalyptus. Mm -hmm. Yeah. This smells like a jolly rancher. Yeah. Doesn't it? I think Richie will really like this. Oh, I got two bars of soap. Mm. Are we adding up still? This was probably like four bucks because of the size. Yeah. So at first, I don't know. If I so was we're up, up to that's eight nine bucks, dollars. and then and then that. No, five well, plus yeah, four, four. Nine. Yeah. Well, the bath bomb. Yeah, this six is dollar. Thick, this so one? this was probably seven. I could probably even more than that. There's like seven, eight dollar bars of soup. Yeah. Or so higher. we'll just go seven. Did so you get the bath bomb? Si yeah, sixteen. Yeah. It smells good though. I like that one. And then this is kind of broken up. Really bad. Is that supposed to be a bath bomb? I guess. It looks like it's a special one. Maybe there's a surprise like inside. Like confetti comes out or something. Yeah. But it's really starting to um disintegrate. Disintegrate. What um? So that's probably an eight dollar one. So eight ninety nine or eight ninety nine. Eight ninety nine. So and that, I think there's even a nine ninety. That put at twenty five dollars. Fortune cookie one. I yeah. Want. I think it's eight ninety nine or nine nine. So it's exactly at value, which for basins not bad at all. I like yours better. I like yours. Yeah, well, you'll get besides the soap, we'll commute soap. <laughs> do you want? Do you yeah, want the I... tiny lemon lip balm? I can't even smell it. All I smell is the soap. <laughs> I don't know. That's. <laughs> I don't know. I can't figure that one out. All I smell but, you know, is the soap, and I would buy more. And we and they were cutting up the sample stuff. They didn't have any of the sample bags because we saw that the first time we had gone in base. Not the first time, but we've been in basin <laughs> twice in the last like week and a half. I guess. Yeah, this we hadn't been in in a while, and we um we saw the little sample things that they did, and then we saw these got destructed. Didn't think about those, and then but then they didn't have them in there. Yeah, they were cutting them up when we last saw. Like, oh well, we'll swing back in, and we never <laughs> did. We never did. So. Do you think this smells like Jolly Ranchers? Because I do. And that's all I smell now. Yeah. Kind of has that. Yeah, like a me. watermelon. I, no, I don't know if I would have said Jolly Ranchers if you didn't say, does this smell like Jolly Ranchers? Yeah. I like the smell of this one. I like the smell of this one, but I, I just feel like it was in that bag that it got all... Yeah, we have, we bought a bath bomb that's been sitting over next to the computer. I do all the invoices on, so now that every time I sit down, I'm like, it feels so good. I just want to leave it sit. Okay, so the camera shut off, so we're not sure what we uh, are. Yeah, about. <laughs> I think I want to go back and get the smaller version of the soap rest for my face soap. Yeah, well, on, on I mean, this is a nice, this wood, nice piece for five ninety nine. Like, I think that's and the other one was what four ninety nine. Um, not that I need more soap, but I just don't have unless I set that on the floor in my shower. I don't have. You have a ledge. I don't have anything in my 
shower. Do you have a thing? I mean, like I have it in my bathtub, in the bathtub, but. Do you have anything over your shower head? Mm -hmm. Maybe get one of those things. Cause that's I don't feel like anything can here. hang on our shower head, though. I feel like our shower head will break off. Really? <laughs> yeah, the life of runners. Yeah. Um, because in the shower that's off of the bathroom in my room, there's a thing over it. That's how. I mean, we bought a little suction thing that, I mean, it's fallen a couple times, but for the most part, yeah, I think that's worked out good. good. Yeah. But there's no room for another one. A, no, we could get another one, but. Do like a suction cup for the soap. If you want to use the soap in the shower. See, like that little thing, do you use for your hands? Do you use it in the shower? I think it would last longer as. Uh, hand. I thought I'm just going to use the citrus because I sure don't want to smell like citrus <laughs> all over myself. Unless um, you were going somewhere. Yeah, with your luck, it would it attract, attract them. Them. It will attract them. Um, but I figured uh, just maybe your hands. So I was going to put it in the downstairs bathroom. I was fill, I'd like to fill in these up. I want that job. <laughs> what did That'll you be my job at Basin. I want to yeah. get out of Basin and fill them up. Shout out I to like, Robin. I was, um, I made a mess. Yeah, we had an order for them. Thanks. You just went like this. <laughs> <laughs> and, um, the first time I bought myself one, right? I and then okay. I didn't fill it up, I guess, all the way. And a lady, you know, they always are walking around. Can I help you? Can I help you? And just, I guess she saw it. She goes, oh, let me top that off for you. And then she took it and then brought it back yeah. to me. And then when I went up to the, I mean, because we were in there for a while. And then I went up to the register. And Liddy's like, oh, let me just check and make sure you have it filled all the way up to the top. And I'm like, oh, it is. Because <laughs> somebody already helped it. So then I knew. And so then what I was doing was I was tapping it. And it's surprising how much space you get just by doing that. So Robins are gonna be filled to the tippy tippy tippy. <laughs> I didn't but like I did. the colors. They didn't have a pink one when we were there. Though. No. So it's like one where these made. Or maybe they ran out and then they used the rest of it. I don't know. But yeah. So that was our basin haul on top of everything else we've already showed. This video is probably like 40 minutes long at this point. What else was it on? But yeah, we have more to show, so we'll see you in the yeah, next one. Please like, comment, and subscribe. What would you like from Basin? Because it's fun. I mean, you can... Um, some things are available on Basin's website, but not everything. Some are exclusive only to Disney Springs or the Grand Florid Floridian. Florida. Have you ever posted from no. Basin? I did take pictures, they're on my phone, I didn't post them. Yeah, wait, I mean, I think I've walked through the, the Grand Floridian, but it's not as big as, obviously, the base. It's thing. not as big, but there's a lot of stuff in that, because it's like, goes down the wall and around the corner. So, yeah. Alright, maybe okay. we'll film from there. I, that's what I keep saying, we need to film from this location. And then but, we get in the car, and guess what? Do you have the camera? Do you have the camera? I've even yeah. left it on the table heading out the door. She needs to carry a backpack to carry the camera. That's why I keep all that stuff in that little backpack and I know I just grab it out the door. So please like, like comment, comment and subscribe and we'll see you in the next one. Bye! Bye.